Hi everyone, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and in this video I'm going to show you how to mask PTZ camera movement in your video productions. And let me just start by saying this is a somewhat advanced tutorial so there's going to be links below to some of the additional content that you might need to understand or refer to to get this done. But let me explain to you why this is such a big deal. With pan tilt zoom cameras you can have one zoomed into let's say your your talent, your, your main talent, and you can have another one zoomed into a zoomed out shot maybe of you know the full band for example and you can fade in between these two camera presets. Okay, so you can have camera one, camera two, camera three, and as you're switching between these, you can have hundreds of different camera angles throughout your video production. What we're going to do today is show you how to automate pan tilt zoom controls inside a software called vMix, but you can also do this in TriCasters and other different video production softwares to automate the pan tilt zoom controls and mask the PTZ movement, which is really the fun part. So first of all, I want to I want to thank Scott Whitney of Podworks for showing me how to do automated camera presets, and I also want to thank Roby for asking us this on our Facebook user group, which is a great place to ask questions and learn more about how pan tilt zoom cameras work. So without further ado, let's dig into the presentation. So I'm going to go over some basic. Um, things really quickly just to get everyone filled in. What is an IP address? What is a camera preset? What is a video playlist? What is an animated stinger, which is what we're going to use for the masking? And what is a tally light? That'll be our final little you know icing on the cake here. So an IP address, every PTZ Optics camera has one. It's a unique address that devices on your network, uh, your local area network can have, and that's how you can access them through a web browser or different video production software. The reason why I'm mentioning it, because probably the best way to control pan tilt zoom cameras, especially PTZ Optics cameras, is over the network, and to do that we need to set a static IP address for each camera. Okay, so unique addresses for each one so we can control them separately. What is a camera preset? So a camera preset is a preset position. If you have your camera on a tripod, you can set camera preset 1 to be a zoomed in shot of the guitarist. Camera preset 2 is a zoomed in shot of the drummer. Camera preset 3 is a wide shot. So you can have these pre-programmed positions that we can recall and move to. And what I'm going to show you in this course is how to actually mask the movement in between those, which is really going to be great. This is an extra, um, something really cool I'm going to show you today, is how to set up a video playlist. And a video playlist is essentially a list of inputs. And they could be videos, they could be static cameras, and they can be pan tilt zoom cameras. We can take a single pan tilt zoom camera and create multiple pan tilt zoom presets as individual inputs. And you're going to see this in the tutorial today. And we can actually automatically have the cameras go from position A to position B to position C. And by switching cameras through that process and using an animated stinger, which I'll show you in a moment, we can mask all of the pan tilt zoom to make it look like just two pan tilt zoom cameras or even one pan tilt zoom camera and a, and a static camera looks like hundreds of different camera shots. And it's one of the most affordable ways to boost your production value and make it look like you've got all of these great camera shots with a single easy to use solution. And we're gonna show you all of that today. Now, what is a stinger? An animated stinger is essentially, it's an animated transition that transitions from one input to the next. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a blank stinger to transition from camera PTZ1 to camera PTZ2. And what it does is it gives the second camera the time that we need to do its automated camera positioning to all the movement of the PTZ before we switch to the second camera. So it's a very easy way to basically just mask out that first, you know, 30 frames or 60 frames, which would be like a second or two seconds depending on the frames per second you're using on your camera, to just mask that part of it so that the, the um, either the entire movement of the pan tilt zoom has been masked and before the camera switches to the next shot, or maybe you just want to show a little bit of the pan tilt zoom at the end. And we'll also show you how to change the camera speeds so that the camera speed might be nice and slow. And you don't want to show the beginning. Maybe you just want to show the very end where it eases into the position that it's moving into. So we're going to show you all of that today. And we're going to use custom stingers, which are essentially image sequences that are overlaid over 
um, the two different camera angles as you're transitioning from one to the next, and we'll show you how all that works. What is a tally light? This is the icing on the cake here, the last thing we're going to show you. If you are doing this in a studio, like I am, and we'll show an example of a studio, tally lights are little lights that will light up to let you know which camera is live at any given time. So when we put these cameras on an automated loop or a playlist, um, we might not know which camera at any given time is live. It allows your talent, especially if you're like me and I'm actually I am running the broadcasting software, the live streaming software, and I'm talking on camera. So it's nice for me to know which camera's live at any given time, and we'll share some tips with how to set up tally lights as well in this video. So it's a simple five-step process. One, we're going to choose our camera preset. So if we've got two cameras and we're live streaming a concert, you know, camera one might get the close-ups of the individual band members. Camera three might get the crowd, it might get the uh, full band, it might be a behind the scenes camera with a drummer, um, and we set up all the presets that we want. Then we choose the speeds at which we want the cameras to move. And that's a very interesting um, thing that we can do. We can ch uh, choose the camera speeds. So we don't have to necessarily be stuck on a single speed uh, per camera. We can have different speeds for pan, different speeds for zoom, different speeds for tilt, individually per camera, and we can have different speeds of all three of pan, tilt, and zoom between manual control and preset control. And preset control is what we're going to be really mainly talking about here. We're going to load up a stinger. And we've talked about what a stinger is. It's an image sequence. We're going to load a blank stinger. It's really just a placeholder so that we can choose the exact amount of time that we want to take before we switch to the next camera, effectively masking the pan, tilt, and zoom. We'll choose the length of the cut point, whether we want it to mask all of the pan, tilt, zoom movement or just a portion of it. So there's a nice easing in of the camera movement as needed. And then optionally, we're going to sh show you how to set up an automated uh, playlist. This is a great way to show an example of this all working, but it's also... Um, you know, a really nice way to, if you're just like me and you're, you're like a single guy or two people in a video production and you're doing the video production, you're also on screen talent, you can automate all the camera switching incredibly easily. So the first thing we're going to do in vMix, if you've done this, never done this before, is we're going to create camera PTZ positions. So we're going to log into the cameras using the IP address of the camera. Okay, and that's done in the PTZ tab, and we're going to create different presets, and they cr actually create different inputs, and we've got a whole video tutorial on this, so I'm going to breeze over this part, but if you need to uh, go to our video on setting all this up, presets and automated camera control in vMix, go ahead and take a look at the links below, and that will do more um, for you there. The next part is the uh, choosing the camera speeds. So let's say we've set up all our presets and now we want to set up our speeds. Well, here's an example here of the, um, this is the iOS app where you can set pan, tilt, and zoom speeds. This is from on an iPhone. You can also do it on an iPad. The PTZ Optics cameras will have this in their firmware soon. It's, it's coming soon, but it's available in the SDK and therefore it was able to be put into our iOS app. So this is allowing us to do, you can see manual speeds and the speed between presets, which is what we're really going to use here. And you can see we're connecting over the IP address and naming the camera. So the iOS app is great for four cameras, and then um, we're going to be adding it to the firmware if you have even more cameras. So we've set the individual speeds, and the speed of the camera at which it pan, tilts, and zooms is going to affect how long we need to mask the amount of time it takes for it to get to position A to position B. So this gives you a really great way to fine tune everything. Now, the blank stinger. This came to me in a dream. I was just thinking about how could we make this work, and I realized the blank stinger will allow us to have that buffer time in between two transitions uh, to mask the, the pan, tilt, and zoom. So it's a free download below. We're going to allow you to, I've already got it all set up for you. It's got an image sequence there that you can load into vMix, and I believe it works the same in the TriCaster. And any software that can do pan, tilt, and zoom of our cameras and has support for stingers, this will work. So the blank stinger, again, this is going to be available. You just go right to our vMix course on Udemy, and um, you can go ahead and download all that. 
um, it gives us that's a great place to learn a lot more. So the Stinger itself, and we'll go. It we'll do a live demo of this as soon as it's all explained. The Stinger itself is basically the image sequence. It, there's a duration. Okay, so I have 123 frames in the existing. Um, you know, image image sequence that I'm going to let you download for free. So that's you know roughly four seconds. That's plenty of time to get from uh, in, input A to input B and let the pan tilt and zoom. Unless you're doing something really really slow, then we need to make you a custom image sequence, which I can definitely help you with. So the stinger cut point is what we want to focus on. If we want to mask all of the pan tilt zoom movement at the default settings of the PTZ Optics cameras, we're looking at probably 55 to 75 frames, which is like two seconds to three seconds, right, of time where it takes to get to from preset A to preset B. And that is where we want to set the, the cut point. Now, if we want to show a little bit of the movement, which some people like to show just the end bit of movement, we can set a stinger cut point of 25 to 45 frames, and that will normally show just the ending, the easing in, and that will depend on the speed at which you set the pan, tilt, and zoom. Now, the optional part that I'm going to show you in this next example, oh, let's go back one here, is the optional automated camera playlist. And this is a really great way to set up your video production. If you've got three or four or five different presets that you know you wanna be just showing, you can put them on a playlist. The cameras will automatically be panning and tilting and zooming between the presets. You can choose the length at which you want the presets to stay on that area before moving to the next. And this is where we can put the custom stinger in there so that the pan tilt zoom movements are either masked completely or just shown the very ending so you can ease in. So this is what everyone's been asking for. So let's go ahead and show a demo. So here you can see I've got the playlist running. And uh, you can see that automatically through this playlist, it will issue a command to pan, tilt, and zoom. And then as soon as the zoom is over, it will cut to the next um, side. Now, some of these are not PTZ inputs, so they just do a simple fade. But this one here, for example, um, this next one, it will pan, tilt, and zoom. Then it will cut and transition to the next spot. So let's wait for that to happen. Pan, tilt, and zoom then cuts. So that's what that stinger is doing. It's allowing us to kind of mask the pan tilt zoom movement and then cut to the next area. Now you could also do a long fade for example in between presets. There's a lot of different things you can do but this is really allowing us to you know basically from the audience perspective they have no idea that we don't have all of these different camera inputs and it really boosts the quality. Now the last one was on a fade so let's go ahead and click that. You can see it's on a fade here. So we'll go over to Stinger 1 and the Stinger section, the length at which the Stinger will mask the um, before it switches is all actually handled in the overlay section. So you can see this one was using the Stinger 1 and you can actually have two Stingers in vMix. So if you want to have two separate lengths, um, you can do that as well. Um, so you can see here's Stinger 1 and there's that cut point Maybe we want to take that down just a little bit. You can also change the alpha, and that's something that you know I really won't have time to get into today, but we could actually do some really interesting effects with um, transparency in these stingers. So that's pretty much everything, guys. I hope that this has been uh, super informative for you, and um, that is all we have. I know it was a long video, so don't forget to like this video, share it with anyone in your team that might need it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of great tips. We have an entire course on vMix on Udemy where this will be available with all the free downloads and everything because we think it's a great software and it works perfectly with the pan, tilt, zoom cameras that we offer. So hopefully that was a helpful tutorial for masking pan, tilt, zoom movement with video production software and also really getting that fine tuning control of camera speeds and how quickly, and it's all automated so it's super fun and great. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and take care everybody.